And finally, we remember a man who made his mark on history with just a pen and his sharp wit. Naperville News 17's Kim Pierce shares the story of longtime Naperville resident Dick Loker. All heroes do not wear tights. And certainly not in the world Dick Loker created. The cartoonist penned the Dick Tracy comic strip for over 30 years, remaining as a consultant even after he retired in 2011. People say, does Dick Tracy really live? Yeah, I, I talked to him. I don't give him any answers. But <laughs> he signed on as an editorial cartoonist at the Chicago Tribune in 1973 and likened his chosen field to the work of a blind javelin thrower. We don't win many awards, but we keep the crowd alert. But in fact, Loker landed the biggest award to be had. An illustration he did depicting Ronald Reagan in a Superman outfit won him a Pulitzer Prize in 1983. Not bad for a kid from Dubuque, Iowa, who served time in the Air Force as a concept engineer designing new planes, even seeing his B-58 Hustler take flight during the Korean War. From there, he entered the advertising world, and in the late 50s crossed paths with Chester Gould, the originator of Dick Tracy. He became one of his assistants and eventually took over as the main artist in 1983, penning his way into a piece of our cultural history. I, I had a lot of fun with Americana. I was part of it. And that's a great feeling to wake up and say, you know, Dick Tracy was part of that group. Throughout his career, Mary, his wife of more than 60 years, would be both his greatest supporter and best sounding board. When I show her the cartoon for a reaction, I get this, or I get this, or I, get, <laughs> I might get this. The two moved their family to Naperville in 1969 and his influence is seen throughout town. He helped design the sculpture of Naperville founder Joe Naper and played a large role in the creation of the nearly nine foot tall Dick Tracy sculpture that's perched on the Riverwalk. The crime-fighting legend seems a fitting symbol for a man who used his pen to hold political figures accountable while filling the years with stories of keeping the city safe. My first editor that I had, we got along real well together. He says, Dick, remember, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. And so, I don't want to take up a lot of space. I want to live on the edge, which is kind of fun. Dick Loker died August 6th at the age of 88. To learn more about Dick's life, you can watch our documentary, The Man Behind the Ink, found on the NCTV 17 website. 